Welcome to the 2023 Heart Outdoor Track and Field Media Day. I'm your host, Derek Johnson, with KLWN Radio in Lawrence. We have the Culver Stockton College head coach, Doug Savage, joined by a couple of his athletes, Kiana Ortiz and Verlin Johnson. Thanks for joining us for all three of you, coach. Let's start with this. Uh, Kiana and Verlin, why'd you bring them with you today to be representatives of the program, and, and what do they mean to your team? Well, I, I, I think, uh, you know, you look at a roster, you got a lot of great athletes that contribute. Uh, uh, one with Kiana um, has really had uh, a really good last year and, and then starting off on, on the right foot this year. Uh, she's uh, 3791 in the javelin. Um, so really sitting in a pretty good spot for us where, you know, we're trying to trying to hit a standard for her. So I thought a uh, really good chance for her to, to be on board, uh, uh, you know, an athlete that, that works really hard. And, and, and it's not only the javelin, she, uh, she'll throw the disc and the hammer as, as well as the javelin. So has great input as, as a person and, and, and does a couple different events uh, for us when, when we go and compete. Uh, uh, Verlin, uh, has always been one of those guys, uh, really pretty versatile. We've, we've called on him for uh, several events. Uh, you know, it's ranged from the 100 to 200 uh, time to time. He's jumped in on the 400. Um, most recently, uh, he was our anchor for our 4 by 4 that uh, qualified for nationals in the indoor season. So wanted to get, uh, wanted to get him on board. Uh, and again, we have a couple guys that were – important in that relay as well and, and do some other great things uh berlin is also a senior for us so thought uh you know really good chance to to get him on board and and uh, be a part of this today so well kiana uh you were just about a week ago selected as the heart outdoor field athlete of the week you also you broke the school record in the javelin at the grandview invitational what do those things mean to you? Do, do you feel like you're, I don't know, at your best right now? I actually feel like I can do more. Like, I'm actually really ready to take on the next couple of years in addition to this season. And, yeah, and doing really all those different throwing events between the javelin and the hammer throw and everything that you do. What is it like in preparation? Is it difficult at all trying to do different fundamentals of, of different types of throws and, and keep all those things balanced? Or do they in, in some way help you with the other different throws that you do? Well, I would say it's kind of difficult because they're all different forms. Um, javelin is the most different between all the other um, throwing in the ring. So I don't have a trouble with that one, but with hammer and disc, sometimes I carry over the two and mix them up a little bit. So that is the only part that's kind of difficult, but it's actually really fun learning like how technical the styles can be. Verlin, you were part of the men's four by four team that, that placed second medaled at the 2023 indoor heart track championships a few weeks ago. Uh, talk to me about how exciting that race was and, and, you know, finishing second, that's a great achievement, but does it also serve as motivation at all into the outdoor season about, you know, getting over the top and, and trying to win? Uh, it was awesome. I enjoyed it. And um, about the race, it was really uh, nerve wracking. Um, it's mostly mental. So if I prepare myself mentally, I'm ready. For this. And yeah, of course, it's going to it's gonna motivate us for the outdoor season because when we look at times for the qualifying times to get to nationals again, we're right there. We haven't ran it yet, but we plan on running it soon and getting qualified for outdoor national. Well, what's the biggest difference, whether it's, you know, in the event itself or in preparation for relays versus just running something individually? Relays, um, I enjoy working out with the, with the team, like stretching and warming up with the team together. We all build each other up. Individually, it's um, just a mental work with yourself. You just got to get ready, stretch, uh, dynamic and static. Um, and you only, I think for individual, it's uh, it's less intimidating because you don't have to um, rely on anybody else. Nobody's relying on you. So if you if you disappoint yourself, you disappoint yourself. But your teammates are relying on you, so you got to come through. 
coach outside of the the two you have with us today with Verlin and Kiana, who are some other names we should keep an eye on for the outdoor season? Uh, you know, to some degree, we're uh, we've got some young kids. Uh, you know, that relay itself uh, is Sean, Sean Cleary. It, it started that four by four. Drew Mallet, um, Anthony Havens. We we call him Skip. You know, that's one of those that he prefers. Uh, prefers that um so we call him skip um so those guys make up that relay uh, as as verlin said you know those guys are excited they were talking about that relay for the outdoor they weren't really looking ahead um by any means but you know we were at nationals uh, for indoor talking about that relay and and how that motivates them so those guys uh, uh drew mallet also is is uh 100 200 guy um Berlin runs on our four by one. Uh, Drew runs on that four by one. Um, Skip runs on the four by one, and then uh, uh, Reed Savage will will open up. Uh, he has first couple meets here. He's opened up uh, the four by one for us. So we've got some versatility there. That was like forty two sixty at Grandview. Um, you know, we we've got to run it faster. Handoffs, we've got to. Uh, be a little cleaner there. And, and I think, you know, anybody would tell you, you can always get a little better on, on handoff. So that's, that's a, a huge deal for us. Uh, um, on the women's side, Delaney Strauss is a freshman. She'll, she'll run uh, the eight to 15 Malia Carmack. Uh, one of those kids loves the four. She'll go the four and the two um, in, in terms of that. Uh, so those younger kids, you know, we try not to put a lot of pressure on them. Uh, we just kind of try to bring them along and, and do their own thing. Um, and I think really the nice thing about that training wise, you, you kind of run them through what you want to do on a weekly basis. It, it's that progression we, we build on what we want to try to accomplish. It puts them in a good spot for whatever event, uh, you know, they're, they're going to run. So looking for big things from them, uh, you know, Reed Savage, not only, He's on a relay. He's, uh, he, his, his specialty is, is the 110. So as we move through the rest of the season, looking for some good things from, from him as well. Um, and our, our women are going to run a four by four uh, this week, uh, kind of get them going with that. Shannon O'Neill is, is another addition to that piece of the puzzle. Also a long hurdler for us. Uh, so uh, Quite a few names that were really, really pleased with where they're at. Um, again, you know, you single a few out, you miss a few, but there's, there, there's, there's those guys and gals that uh, kind of our go-to that uh, we look to running uh, and, and helping, helping us out uh, at a lot of the different meets we go to. So, well, Coach uh, Berlin, we appreciate the time. Best of luck on the season. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.